Rose with 12 points. 58-56, 3.25 to go. Here from Greensboro. Middleton. Here's Louise Me. He's hit a couple threes here in the second half. He'll put up a runner. That one rattles out no good, and the Eagles get a big defensive stop here. And here's Chapman up the floor to Ingram. Ingram nearly traveled with it. And again, Pooby forcing the action too much here. Now Chapman will trip, penetrate with three minutes to go. Finds Ingram in the corner for three. Good! It's a three! And the Eagles grab the lead back at 59-58 with 2.53 to go. Ingram with 16 points. And I think his foot was on the line there, but we won't say anything. <laughs> they get in the corner to Louise Me. Three up. No good. Rebounded by Kidd. The Eagles can push it up the floor. Willis left of the hoop. Takes it up. And he's fouled. What a play by Ray Willis, the senior from Atlanta, Georgia. Quiets all the folks here wearing navy blue and gold. Now here's the inbound with seven seconds left. Powell crossed the court near side to Louise Me with three seconds to go. No good, and Ray Willis gets the rebound, and the Eagles will move to five and four on the year, and they win the 140th meeting between the Aggies and the Eagles. Final score here from the Corbett Sports Center. North Carolina Central 66, and the Aggies of North Carolina A&T 62, as the Eagles win their 65th game in this series. And North Carolina Central wins their first road game of the year, and they move to 1-0 in MEAC play. What a tremendous ball game played by the Eagle faithful as, again, they did it here, and Stanton Kidd led the way for North Carolina Central with 24 points. We'll take a timeout, come right back, as we'll have the Eagles postgame report presented by True Pack Moving Systems right here on the NCCU Sports Network. Eagles Post Game Report presented by True Pack Moving Systems continues here on the NCCU Sports Network. Chris Hooks here with the head coach of the Eagles, Lavelle Moten. Big 66-62 win here against North Carolina A&T. Coach, again, you moved to 3-0 here in this building, but every single one of them just seems to get tougher and tougher and tougher. As expected, typical Eagle Aggie. Um, you know, we knew it was going to be a dog fight. We wouldn't expect anything less. Um, Throughout the week, we wanted to emphasize toughness and just making tough plays down the stretch. We knew uh, we still have a lot of newcomers, a lot of inexperience, so we're making some, some mistakes, and we're having some breakdowns, as you can see out there on the floor. But at the end, toughness trumps everything. You talked about, and you and I did, about some of the experiences with a and having six seniors. We didn't have as, as much experience in this game as, as, some, as, you, as you probably wanted to have. It seems like uh, your guys stepped up. They did. You know, I, I knew one or two things. Either we were going to um, just lack experience and, and just go in and be a deer in headlights, or we was just going to be just too dumb and naive to know about the situation, and, and we were the latter tonight. And I was proud of our kids, you know, for the effort and, and for the execution down the stretch and the toughness play. Stepping up to the free throw line in a hostile environment, making 16 consecutive free throws, that's toughness. However, at the other end of the floor, um, we allowed them to shoot 34%, and, and I think that was just a bit too high uh, because we had a lot of breakdowns. Powell got rolling, and he almost single-handedly carried that team to a victory. Yeah, they were 7 of 12 from the three-point line in the second half, and that's not the first time that's happened this year. And I know, again, you're going to do what you can to correct that. But just this win as you get ready to take on an Eastern Kentucky, that's got to loom large as well as far as just continuing to progress here in the season. Absolutely. Um, you know, I just told the guys, enjoy this, um, embrace it, and, and, and celebrate it just for this night. Tomorrow we're right back to business. And we got a tough Eastern Kentucky team that's undefeated right now currently. And, you know, they're rolling on and clicking on all cylinders, and we're definitely going to have our hands full. Coach, you're 4-1 and one against the Aggies since we moved to Division One. Congratulations on the win today. We'll talk to you as we get ready for Tuesday. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. That's head coach Lavelle Moten. Eagles win it tonight 66-62 over the Aggies of North Carolina A&T. Here with the player of the game, 24 points, 9 rebounds, Stanton Kidd. Stanton, just talk about your first experience here uh, against North Carolina A&T. Um, against A&T, man, it's, it's a wild, crazy atmosphere, but I'm kind of used to it because uh, growing up in Baltimore City, man, me playing on the west side, and going to play the East Side teams is always a packed gym and a rowdy crowd. So, I mean, it was 
it was it was it was overwhelming at the same time, but it was kind of like, all right, I've been here before, so calm down, let's just play ball. You know, Coach Moten was wondering coming into this ball game because he had only a few players who had played in this situation, but had played in some hostile environments before. Who was going to step up? And you obviously did that. You and Ray Willis, you get 16 as a team, 16 consecutive free throws to win the ball game. Yeah, um, I wasn't really too pressured up there uh, because it was just, you know, follow through on my free throws and just and just. Let it let it go through the net, you know. So it wasn't really hard. I just was trying to stay focused and and get my team to the victory. That's all. Yeah. And during the intentional foul free throws, it really you really looked comfortable up there. I mean, you felt like yeah, but you were almost tantalizing the fans to hey, you know, get loud. I don't care. It's not going to bother me. I told myself, man, just not down the free throws, man. It ain't nothing. Like I just picture myself back in the Eagle Gym, just shooting free throws, you know, on a late night with nobody there. So. That's how I pictured it. Talk about that swing you guys made in about 30 seconds. Down four, next thing you know, you're up four, and, and the place is shocked. Well, um, I got fouled on a three-point play, and uh, Coach Moten, I looked at Coach Moten, Coach Moten looked at me. He said, man, you just got to knock them down. So I knocked down all three. We come back down. I think we, I believe we was up one. And uh, I believe Jeremy hit a big time three, and then we went up four, and then that was it. When you look at this, this team, the progression they made, the offensive performance against Wagner, but you played solid defense today. You got a little bit of both, and just the defensive effort against A&T down the stretch. Uh, well, we, we kind of messed up on a few assignments. Uh, we left Pyle out. Uh, he, he had some big time threes, and he was trying to pull his team to a victory also. So I think we just got to get back to the drawing board and just get back to what we know to do, which is you know lock up and play good defense, basically. Stan, congratulations Appreciate on the win it. against North Carolina A&T. We'll see you Tuesday as you get set to take on Eastern Kentucky. Appreciate it.